Remember that one time when I said the insulation in this crawl space is bad? All the way around the whole thing, it's all falling down, it's wet, it's nasty. It all desperately needs to get ripped out and replaced. Well, the time has come to make it happen. This job is one that I have been dreading from day one. It's got to be done. Just buckle down and do it. Thankfully, I had my generally obsequious son to help me out. And just in case there's any question about why we're taking this insulation down, because it's double faced, there's a vapor barrier on the top and the bottom, it can't breathe, it can't let moisture get out, and causes this. Putting the insulation in either upside down to where the vapor barrier is on the bottom, away from the living space, or putting in double faced is a bad idea. I'm gonna have to come under here and treat this whole area because of the insulation that was put in. Just in case you're wondering what I'm gonna use to treat the mold, no, I'm not gonna use bleach. Bleach does not kill mold inside wood just takes care of what's on the surface but not what's deep inside of it. I actually got into a, a rather heated debate with the people at Clorox and finally got them to admit that their product does not kill mold inside wood. I'm using a product called Concrobium that does kill mold. After taking down everything throughout the whole crawl space, we are very blessed that we only have this little area that's affected by the fuzz. It could have been a whole lot worse all the way through the whole thing, but this is it. This is the product I'm using. Concrobium Mold Control. Not a sponsor. I just like it and it works. The reason that I was turned on to this stuff back when I was in property management, we had like 600 houses. There was one house that I had that had mold and wood. The tenant who was living there kept treating it with bleach over and over and over. And then the mold would be right back, you know, three or four days later, sometimes a month later. So just by way of experimentation, I tried this one time. And it never came back, even like a year later, it still hadn't come back. So I started researching what exactly this does. So what bleach does is when you spray it on or when you apply it in any way, bleach is basically just two ingredients. You have water and chlorine. 
the water immediately soaks into the wood and the chlorine, which has a really high evaporation rate, flashes off really, really quickly. It kills the stuff on the surface, but doesn't sink into the wood. And of course, mold spores, all the little tendrils go deep into the wood and then they just flower again because what you see on the surface isn't what's actually inside. So effectively, if you use bleach, you're feeding it, you're making it worse. You're adding moisture to what's inside and it's just gonna continue growing. What this does is whatever chemicals are in this seeps into the wood and then when it, it kills everything and when it dries, it makes a completely impermeable layer that the mold cannot come back through. So that's the reason that it is so effective. And it does work. So again, not a sponsor, and I'm not by any means, you know, certified. Virginia doesn't require any kind of certification. I just know what I have researched from being responsible for, uh, you know, 600 plus doors. <laughs> um, I had to learn a lot. And the other thing that I learned that is really really important for people to understand is you know you see all these spores floating down here not every single type of mold is dangerous to every single every single person despite what all the fear mongers on hgtv and all of the you know 90 percent of youtube videos will tell you that if you breathe a mold spore you're going to die no we breathe millions of mold spores a day there are only a few types of black mold that are actually dangerous for the most part for most people it isn't a big deal now of course if you have a question if you have mold in your house get it tested you can get this little kit at lowe's that you send off they test it in the lab and send it back and they'll tell you exactly what it is i've used those things dozens of times in houses it's actually a lab certification to tell you what it is so, I'm going to get this treated up, everything's going to be good, and then uh, we'll get the new stuff installed. Just like that, it took the company that I hired about three hours. Awesome. <laughs>